dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's Word of God presents us with the true image of a shepherd. We see in the first reading, Jeremiah has been announcing ruin against various kings and leaders of Israel. Jeremiah denounces the leaders as shepherds who have scattered the flock, the people of Israel. God will send a new faithful king. He will govern with justice, tenderness, and wisdom. He will save Israel and have a wonderful new name which will indicate his mission. In today's Gospel, St. Mark describes that the people guess where Jesus and his apostles go in, and they all hurried to the place on foot and lit it. This shows their need, their need of thirsting and of listening and of needing to be consoled and cared for. So when Jesus saw a large crowd, he took pity on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he said to himself to teach them as some land. The word pity from the Greek language express compassion and deep love. It means that Jesus was moved deeply, literally to his gods. This is quite dramatic, but a beautiful revelation of his true self. To have compassion for others, Jesus' disciples need to express experience God's love and compassion. So the advice Jesus gave to his disciples was to search for moments of silence to be in prayer. He practiced this and gave them example. He told them that the kingdom of heaven is within. It is there in the interior dwelling, the altar of the soul, where the Holy Spirit speaks and listens, where the transformation of the human being occurs, where they can know Him. We have received and are receiving God's compassion and love through the what we have and possess from God. Moreover, we are called by God's word and his body and blood to nourish our soul. So the love of the Christian shows in their active compassion. That is a basic difference between sympathy and compassion. Sympathy sees and says, I am sorry. Compassion sees and whispers, I'll help. God loves us not with words, but by action. That is God so loved in the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Images of God like a good shepherd with his compassionate heart also engraved in our hearts. Therefore, we also showed it through our charity and love to others. So, brothers and sisters, we live and how we live in Jesus is revealed in our smallest actions and most public gestures. 
as each of us is known mainly by our actions. So Jesus is known through those same creatures. We are invited to pray with the tenderness which God has for the flock of Israel. And with, with Jesus embraces those seeking healing and wisdom. We pray with the picture of a gentle, caring, tenderly compassionate God who guides us to what is good for us, even when we do not think it so. We pray for the humility to admit that we are not self-sufficient, but search for the wisdom of Jesus' ways. We, like sheep, can and do make poor choices. Jesus as shepherd leads us to a healthy spirit and mind but not with a whip or stick, but by whisperings and carries. Shall we show a good shepherd like Jesus into others, especially in our members of our families and of our community? Amen.